John, it's good to see you again. Good to see you. Good to hear your voice. And uh, congratulations on the birth of Alicia Bell Jaramillo Rug, your granddaughter. Uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, we are grateful to the Lord for, uh, for her uh, safe birth. How many grandchildren now? There are three in this world. A couple of years ago, we lost a granddaughter. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear that. So, John, thank you for giving us some time here at RINCON. Um, many of our folks know you, but some of them don't. I wondered if you could just sort of give a quick summary of what you and Kathy are doing in Chile. Okay. Uh, we have uh, a, a few different uh, uh, hats, so to speak. Uh, one is the work that we have among the blind, uh, which is... Uh, basically to reach them for Christ and to deal with practical needs uh, that, uh, uh, that they have that involve uh, uh, such things as learning to use the cane, uh, uh, read Braille, uh, and uh, use, uh, use technology like computers and iPhones and such. Um, the other work that we, uh, that we do uh, is with our uh, the church plant that we're part of a church planting team, and uh, so we're uh, here in Concon, and the goal is to plant a church uh, in uh, this city. Uh, a third thing that's a responsibility uh, that I have is uh, working with a friend named Craig Pohl uh, as co-directors of the Chile mission. Okay, and that, that sounds like plenty to keep you busy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> plenty. How many years have you been there now? 34. Wow. Working on the 35th. Wow, wow, congratulations on that many years of pressing on. Um, I wondered if you could just sort of give people a sense of how COVID has affected you. Um, I know you've said Chile is fairly restrictive, much more than the U.S., but how has it affected the ministry and how are you dealing with that? Um, in terms of the church, it has, uh, yeah, there's some things like, you know, a 6, a 6 a.m. men's breakfast uh, is a thing of the past, uh, maybe of the future, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't happen. Uh, most people are at home, it's and it's and, uh, and so uh, so we're uh, dealing with that. Uh, but a lot of church things go on and have actually expanded. Uh, certainly, our our uh, prayer life as a church has expanded, uh, and uh, our small groups have grown. Uh, we even have people attending that live uh, a ways away. Mm. Um, the work with the blind has been severely curtailed. Mm. And that uh, we're, we're trying to deal with it as best we can through a, a, uh, a phone application called WhatsApp. Uh, it's not all that popular in the States, except with people who have relatives uh, in foreign countries. Uh, but it is a, uh, a handy way of uh, relating to one another. And so we, we work with them. We do some virtual things uh, together. Uh, that uh, A lot of them are more recreational and, and, uh, than uh, anything but uh, we believe that it's, it's healthy because a lot of people are isolated. And isolation is the key issue with, uh, with COVID. Hmm. So. so you have people newly handicapped that are probably isolated and now mm -hmm. double isolated, it sounds like. Yeah, the newly uh, disabled are people that, uh, that don't even have the use of their, their cell phone. They don't, uh, how do you answer it? Yeah. 
So uh, let alone manage a program or manage the speech system that the phone may have. Mm -hmm. So it, oh. uh, it's very, very challenging. So there's, uh, we have some, uh, some people that call other people to find out how they are and they <clears throat> record what could be their participation with, with the main WhatsApp group. And uh, so that's how we try to deal with that. Okay. And then well, there's just... Uh, go ahead. Then there's just calls to... to, uh, uh, to uh, see how people are and to uh, address uh, some needs. Uh, a newly blinded person uh, uh, giving some practical advice as to how to walk through their house and, and, and not be crashing into things. And, okay. And so okay. Um, and then uh, I know we're just doing quick summaries, but maybe you could give us some quick areas for prayer. Um, uh, certainly that, uh, that as we have opportunity to uh, communicate the, the gospel of Jesus Christ to, uh, to the blind as well as to others, uh, that, uh, uh, that, that there would be a uh, favorable uh, response in that sense, that God would be quickening hearts in essence because it, it really requires uh, a movement of his spirit uh, for people, for any of us to respond. Uh, so that would, that would be a major, a major thing. Another prayer concern is uh, uh, that, uh, that we can uh, see a, a, a clear path to follow for this, uh, this next year with respect to the issue of HMA. Uh, that, that's a, a concern. Do we go on HMA or not? And if not, uh, can we keep, uh, by God's grace, our support account uh, okay. uh, sufficiently healthy? Uh, so HMI, HMA is brief for home ministry assignment coming back. Correct. To Sorry about that. Yeah. Now, we, not everybody knows the code. Yes, I understand. <laughs> it gets disconcerting. Yeah. Yeah. So you had, you and I had chatted earlier uh, in a longer call about the um, the challenge of of leaving Chile with COVID, the challenge of a new ministry couple that will have just completed some basic training and are going to move to be near you, uh, and then the challenge of travel in the U.S. All of which is I'm trying to summarize. Those were your concerns about home ministry. Indeed. Uh, yes, that's uh, and that's very well put. Yeah, so we will we will pray for that. Anything else? You and Kathy, grandparents. <clears throat> yes, uh, just prayer that uh, by God's grace, uh, restrictions can be lifted, so that we can uh, see our children and grandchildren. Unlike most missionaries, are are. Uh, kids are here. They, they all live within, uh, say, 30 minutes of us. And, and um, our son is a little bit further away, uh, so that would make it 30 minutes, but the others are, are like uh, 15 minutes away. And, but they live on the other side of the sanitary curtain, and their area is uh, under quarantine. Mm. And until that is lifted, we can't even do uh, the situation where they would come and be in our backyard and us on the terrace and, and uh, be uh, doing a, perhaps a meal or whatever on two different tables uh, yeah. and, and separated from one another. Well, we will pray for that. Well, thank you. Um, the the uh, missions committee at Rincon uh, greets you. We stand with you, and the whole church family does. Uh, well, thank you very much. This will this will go up on Sunday morning uh, after we pray for you on our Facebook and our YouTube accounts, so people can then go and get in more of the details as we'll pray for you. 
Uh, but thanks for thanks for giving me some time here. No, that's that's great. I'm very happy to do it. So thank you, John.